Welcome back, everybody. It is October 11th, and uh, don't seem like it's going to be a very good evening. It's like 70 degrees out. We got a wind straight out of the east, which is not a good setup for really any of my good spots. So we're just going to sit up here in the uh, shanty and just kind of observe the food plot. I like this because you can kind of get in and out of here without screwing things up down here. Uh, we'll be fine as long as no no big does come from right over here because my wind's blowing just like this. I'm going to keep that window closed too if I can, but we're just going to sit tight and see if uh, we see any deer tonight. We're going to enjoy sitting here either way so thanks for watching and Kaylee's out tonight as well so maybe she'll see something she's sitting over the food plot at the gas hole piece again so maybe we'll bring you some action who knows well I've only been here for like 10 minutes and we just had two looks like uh, fawns come out down there in the corner that's a good sign so right here I planted this spring, I planted all that to uh, clover and it came up really good. I should have mowed it one last time but never got around to it. But you can see it's all clover right here, nice clover patch and then obviously all this stuff down here is all brassica. And there's a couple apple trees in there, they're holding apples still, I don't know if you can see them. But uh, there's a bunch of scrapes and stuff in there as well. But if we're going to get them in bow range, they're going to have to come come right up in this food plot right here, this close one. We also have a tree behind us here that is dropping, dropping uh, some type of nut that the deer have been eating. I'm not sure what type of tree that is, but the deer are eating something that it's dropping right here. So, we'll see if anything else comes out behind us here tonight. Well, we've got four deer out in the food plot so far. It's 520. Looks like that one's looking back into the woods. Maybe there's another one coming. Something must be coming. That dirty sucker. Another big fat woodchuck out there. That is definitely out of my bow range. said deer number five step out
Okay, we made it out of the woods. I ended up seeing a bunch of dough and two little bucks. Kaylee's seen some dough. But my buddy Chaz shot a coyote tonight, so we're gonna go out and look at it and wait. What do you think, Chaz? Oh, it's a good night. Smoke a coyote with your bow. That's right. That's pretty sweet. I've never done that. Maybe someday I will, though. You got a light? Oh, yeah. I got one. There it is. Oh yeah, he smoked him. That was a exit. great shot. That was the entrance. That was high. Male? It's a female, I think. Female. Yep. I don't see any Willy Wonka there. Let's hook him up here and see what we got for a weight. What's your weight? What's your guess? 38? I said 36 and I'm off. I just recalibrated this thing too, so 31.4 pounds. Big female really though. Yeah. It's a pretty one. She's got good hair already. Yeah, she does. Yes, she does. Any coyote dead is a good coyote. You dirty suckers. Good kill, Chaz. No more turkeys or fawns for you. No. Nope. So today is October 11th, and I am going to hunt the same stand I did on Friday night. Um, I ended up seeing just a couple small does and uh, a couple decent bucks. Um, the one that I would have shot was just out of range, so maybe we'll get another chance at it tonight, but who knows. Um, just like before, we did have a couple of really nice bucks come out after dark that I would definitely be more than delighted to let an arrow fly at, but they're going to have to make a mistake if that happens. Tonight, uh, it's definitely a really good wind for this stand, not that there's much of a wind, but the little breeze that we do have is perfect for this stand. So we're going to go out here and sit for a few hours and... Hopefully one of these bucks makes a mistake. Again, this is over the brassica food plot with the corn um, just over to my right. So time will tell, but it's a beautiful night to sit in a tree stand. There's no doubt about that. Brassica is absolutely ginormous through here. Cliff did a really nice job. This will definitely pay off, I'm sure, in about a month, month and a half. These deer will be out here as soon as it gets cold. It is luscious. So that path right there is where um, all the deer funneled through on Friday night, which is about 44 yards from this stand right here. And then they kind of fed through the food plot and ended up just over here to the right a little bit. Just kind of fed out through there. So we'll see what they do tonight if they come out, but <clears throat> I am downwind of them if they decide to come from that path again or anywhere on that side, so that's good. But we'll sit tight and try not to sweat too much and see what the night brings. <laughs> 